Alright everyone, so let's get started on the feta cake naffa. We're going to need a few simple ingredients that we're going to combine in a large bowl to form a dough. So we will start with three and a half cups of flour, half a cup of semolina, you can use fine or coarse, half a cup of cornstarch, and half a cup of powdered milk along with one teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to mix these together and then we will add half a cup of slightly melted ghee. We're using vegetable ghee and we're going to rub it into the rest of the ingredients. So once it's all rubbed in, we're going to add one and a half cups of room temperature water and we're going to knead until we make a dough or until a dough forms. Feel free to add a little bit of extra water gradually if your dough does not come together because the amount of water depends on the type of flour. Your dough should look like this. Then we will place our dough in between two sheets of parchment paper and we will roll it out to a one centimeter thickness. And once it's rolled out, we're going to transfer it to a baking sheet and we will preheat our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit while the dough rests for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of resting, we're going to lower the temperature of the oven to the lowest possible temperature and we'll bake the dough for exactly 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to leave the dough to air dry for 5 plus hours. You can leave it overnight and it should look something like this. And then we're going to do part by part. We're going to place it in the food processor and grind it to a fine consistency. And there you have it. Our knafa dough is ready and we are ready to assemble our knafa na'me or knafa nabilsiye. We're going to start with around one and a half tablespoons of ghee that we're going to spread all over the bottom of the pan that we will make our knafa in. You want to make sure the ghee goes everywhere, even on the sides. To around one and a half cups of our fedeke knafa that we just made, we're going to add two tablespoons of cold simple syrup and rub it in. Then we're going to spread the feta cake naffa into the pan and you'll notice here my mom presses gently every time she adds more and this is to ensure that there are no empty spots so you want to press gently. Once we have a nice even layer we're going to take a pan of the same size and we're going to press into the layer and that will make sure that really everything is even. And now comes the best part. Um, so for the cheese, we're using desalted akkawi. You can use nabilsiye, you can use mshallale, um, whatever's available where you are. So you want a nice generous layer and you want to pat it down at the end and add one last sprinkle of our feta kiknafa. To cook it, we're going to place it over the stovetop and as soon as you hear a slight sizzling sound, you want to begin rotating it and you will rotate the entire time that it is cooking. If the cheese releases any water, you want to take a paper towel and just pat it down slightly to soak up any excess water that comes out. After a few minutes of turning, I would say around 8-10 to 10 minutes, could be less, could be more, your knafa will turn a nice golden amber color around the edges and that's when it's ready to flip. You want to flip it in a slightly larger pan and then right away you want to ladle the very hot simple syrup over the top. And of course, like with all Arab desserts, you want to go in with a generous layer of ground pistachios all over the top and it's ready to enjoy.